Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. Hunting in Belrite is uh, something that's going to be super important for you as you will get the different kinds of leather and hides that you will need for most of your items in the game. And you will also get some meat from these animals as well uh, to feed for you and also for your NPCs. Hunting can be a bit frustrating at first uh, as you will have to do it all by yourself at the beginning of your playthrough uh, but later on you will get access to buildings uh, that can be used by your NPCs. Uh, on tier 1 we get access to the small trap that you can place down to capture rabbits and you will have to have some food in here like berries or mushrooms to lure them in. The Trapper Camp is uh, the first building that will get access to on tier 1 and is the first building that makes your NPCs be able to check on these traps for you and adding new food and repairing the traps if they are getting destroyed. And you can find rabbits basically everywhere on the map, usually not so much at the mountains or at the swamp area, it feels like it's uh, uh, not too many spawns and they will provide pelt and also small piece of raw meat. For the rest of the animals you will need to have to hunt them for yourself or once you get to tier 2 buildings you can set up a hunter's camp and this will make your NPC hunt for you instead but that's quite far in the game I feel and you are going to have to hunt for yourself quite a bit before you get access to it but once you do so you will also have to get uh, both quivers and arrows for the hunting cap for it to work so do keep that in mind for the next animal we got crows and these can also be found basically everywhere but are less common though than the rabbit you won't see too many of them just right outside here then uh, but as soon as you get a bit uh, far away from it outside sunstep valley you will start to see them spawn in the sky I got some favorite spots uh, for them and they are usually in bigger packs where there is water I feel uh, but as mentioned you can basically find them all over the map. And these you want to hunt for gathering feathers uh, which is also for some of the armor crafts and these same as a rabbit will also drop the small piece of raw meat. Next on the list we have the deer and you will find these most of the time on the plain fields all around the map and that's the light grey or brownish that we'll see on the map. And from the deer you will get stag horns that you can use for decoration, you also get hide from these and also a piece of raw meat and also a chance for a large piece of raw meat. I guess the favorite spots for hunting the deer, uh, one is just next to Bradford where I also have uh, put up a outpost which have been really at work here as it have three different uh, spawn locations for the deers around this area. Moving on to the hostile animals starting with the wolf and you can find them in the forest areas on the map and uh, very often at mountains like just next to Herndon you will basically find wolves all over the place here and uh, even under here you also have a wolf layer that will spawn them. The wolf can drop wolf fangs and these can be used as uh, decoration but you can also use them to currency uh, that you can turn to the town elder to gain trust with that village. Uh, we also get pelt from these as well and also piece of raw meat.
The last one is going to be the boar and this same as the wolf is going to be spawned at forest areas randomly all over the map but not as common than the wolf and also in smaller packs. I'll show you some of my spots where I found them but they absolutely the hardest to find a feel of all the animals and will basically start to spawn outside Sunstep Valley. From the boar you can get boar tusks that you can use for decoration. You will also get fur from these as well and also a piece of raw meat and also a chance for the large piece of raw meat. I mentioned a great outpost spot that I used to getting hide just next to Bradford uh, that you can use if you like but I did find a uh, guaranteed better spot for it and uh, that's going to be just right next to the wheat field and just look at all the animals here running around and you basically have spawns for all animals here you got rabbits and deer in the plains here and you also have wolf and boars just right into the forest here I might change uh, the location myself here, but uh, for now I keep my old uh, hunting outpost. But yeah, it's uh, quite a nice spot I feel here. As mentioned earlier, you are going to get stag horn, boar tusks and also wolf fangs. That can also be made for decorations. And this is to make all different kinds of trophies from each uh, respective animal. And they also provide you with renown when you place them down. So this is a great way of getting some extra uh, from those as it's not a limit on how many trophies that you can have. Currently there is uh, two kinds of boar and also two kinds of wolves. And uh, basically when you get further away from the starting area, the harder the boars and wolves will get. And they will just be replaced by a stronger version basically, but uh, the loose is going to still uh, be the same. There are some friendly animals in Belrive like chickens, cows, pigs, goats and cats. However, if you do damage them or kill them, it's uh, going to make you lose reputation or trust uh, with different villagers depending on uh, the ones that's closest to you. So do try to avoid them. Another great thing to do is to grab yourself with the best food before hunting and the absolute best and fastest way to get it is at the inn just right of Padstow under the lake here and here you can find cloudberries for huge boost of stamina and also the experience gain. You got fish stew for both health and stamina and also a extra 20% XP gain and we are also giving smoked fish for even more stamina and reduction to hunger by 30%. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions or tips regarding hunting, feel free to drop a comment as well. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!